welcome back to my channel. So just a reminder to those of you who would like to book a personal reading with me, please read my terms of services in my bio on my YouTube. And then when you agree with that, then you can click on the link tree. And as you go to make a purchase, either email me your email, okay, because I have a contact me section, or leave your email in the message part when purchasing a reading. Thank you. And thank you to everyone who has purchased a personal reading. Okay, today's pick a card reading is a fun one. We are going to see who will you be in a relationship with next. In front of me, I have three different options, each with a different image. Choose the one that really calls out to you. This is group one, group two, and group three. Okay, let's get started. Hey group number one, thank you for being here. Who wants to be your next relationship? So the first thing that comes to me with your cards is that I'm getting that this is somebody that you guys know already, okay? And what I'm seeing is, yes, this could be an ex, but even more than that, what I'm getting is that this is somebody that you were definitely interested in and I feel like you both were mutually, are mutually attracted to each other. And I see this like really fast paced moving energy with this person, okay? So they came on strong, but because I feel like, you know, you were into them and the idea of this popping off, you were okay with that, you know? And then I feel like something happened and it like, you were left feeling kind of like, what? Okay. And I feel like this person backed off completely from this with you. So it definitely has more of that new feel of like something where you were both had the spark, you know, between each other, this connection, and it was new, exciting. And it just when you think it's going to take off, it doesn't. Okay. That's what I'm seeing, like definitely like this abrupt change happened between you guys and you were like left in the dark is the feeling I'm getting. And I'm also seeing like, you know, communication cut off between you guys, okay? Interesting though is I feel like this person views you like the queen of wands, okay? So very attractive and just like charismatic and mag- like this person, okay. No matter what, where they go, it's like their mind always goes back to you. Like they're magnetically drawn to you. Like there was no getting away from you basically once they met you is what I'm getting group one. Okay, but I feel like this person actually had other things going on at the time that they met you. So it's not that like they weren't interested. It's just I'm kind of getting this is more of a timing thing. And now like whenever you end up watching this video because it's timeless, I feel like this is when this person is going to come back around. OK, what's also interesting, though, is this person also comes across like the Queen of Wands. OK, so even if it's a guy that you're wondering about, I just feel like this person is also very lively and, you know, attractive and charismatic so you both are like a mirror in that way and i feel like that is what made this so like magnetic for you both okay an instant whereas i feel like normally it would probably take you like a bit to come around to people especially if they weren't your idea first is what i'm getting okay so Here's what's interesting though. So with the two of swords reversed, I do see this person starting to communicate with you. Okay, that's like coming out of the no communication, you know. And I, yeah, so, and with the eight of swords here, you know, there was definitely that halt in moving forward. But with the full under it here, I do see this person like taking a leap of faith and communicating with you okay and then locking it down with the hierophant you know like i'm gonna be blunt with it that's what i see like this person definitely wants commitment with you okay i mean this is who you're gonna be in a relationship with next but okay so like a hint as far as who this person may be i feel like if you guys post pics of yourself or nature or basically of anything this is that person who you're friends with on social media if you have it who is clicking like or hearting it, 
Okay, like, yeah. You're probably thinking, I got a bunch of people. Okay, but you know, it's that person though. <laughs> Oh, yeah, okay, and there's my, you both finding each other to be attractive and are magnetically drawn to each other. Okay, this person in particular, my Your Walk card flew out, so they definitely like the way you move, you know, the way you walk, like all of that. I feel like it drives this person crazy, okay? That is how, like, much chemistry you both have. Okay, so even when you guys weren't in communication, I feel like this person, you know, they were definitely still checking out your social media. I mean, right, with the click and like or hearting your post or pics. But um, I'm just getting the feeling like they definitely, like, disappeared on one hand, but, like, secretly they were still watching, you know, and not missing a thing. Like, they were definitely connected enough to you, even if this was new, that they weren't going to just, like, disconnect from you completely is what I'm getting. But there's definitely, like, this feeling of, like, them being, doing this on the low, okay? And it could be that your person, possibly, for some of you, they were already with somebody and that was over, but it wasn't ended, okay? That's going to go for some of you. And for others of you, I just feel like they had a lot going on. And, you know because you two weren't in communication that's like why them checking out your social media was on the low okay either way it doesn't matter you know they're coming out of that you know <laughs> creeping on the low thing um because they recognize magic when they see it okay that literally is what's coming through to me as far as your person goes i don't feel like they would actually vocalize that but that's like what their energy is saying I recognize magic when I see it, and I know a good thing when it's in front of me, and that is you, okay? Yeah, that's coming through strong. Okay, so for some of you, I feel like you guys actually live at a distance from each other, and that could be like what the obstacle is or was. That This is definitely not gonna go for all of you, but that message is coming through for somebody to hear, okay? Like, yeah. Okay, so, and then my my superstar card. Okay, so this person, like, definitely views you guys like a star, but it's interesting because they definitely view themselves like a star as well. So, yeah, um, it's possible you guys are in the spotlight, or they are, or both of you, okay? Just getting superstar vibes with this group, like, all around. You guys, them, it doesn't matter. And even if neither one of you are in the spotlight, I feel like it's literally just, like I said, like that Queen of Wands vibe that you both share, okay? And then we have first house, as far as your person goes. Yes, I do feel like, you know, this person is selfish to a point, but it I don't feel like they overdo it. Like, if anything, I feel like they just, like, see themselves highly, so they sometimes can come across as being kind of cocky, but honestly, I feel like it's confidence, and they just have their own swag about it. You know what I mean? Like, they just, like, do things their own way, and they're just so their own person that I feel like people either love them or hate them because of that. So, yeah. Okay, so possible signs that came through, but as I always say, don't dwell on the signs, okay? Because I would not want you guys to miss out on something amazing just because the sign didn't come through on a general reading, okay? But I know how people like to hear it. Okay, so first what came through was Gemini, okay, with this, the Knight of Swords card. So possibly a Gemini. Libra also hit my mind as I said that. And then we have my Aquarius. So definite air sign vibes are coming through. Sagittarius. Aries. Yeah, I was going to say air and fire, okay? There's so many pinks and reds in this reading. Cancer also came through. I'm also going to go with Leo. Taurus. Capricorn. Getting some Earth, too, in the mix. Okay. But really, it could be any sign, you know. All in all, though, group number one, I really feel like you both are, like mirrors for each other okay you're both very like i said attractive you're charismatic you're lively passionate people i feel like you know you you don't waste your time with things 
either one of you unless you go all in with it. And I, so I feel like you guys are an amazing mirror for each other. And I see that this is the person who you're going to be with next. Okay, group number one, this is what I see for you guys. If this resonates, let me know in the comments. And if it does, don't forget to give it a like. All right, thank you for being here. Bye guys. Hey, group number two, thank you for being here. Okay, so who will you be in a relationship with next? Okay, group number two, I see when tapping into these cards, you know, with the Six of Swords here, that this person, I feel like they are definitely going through, they're going through it right now, meaning they are going through a lot, okay? I do see them coming over their current obstacles, but I do feel like that's, even though this is in the past position, I do feel like it's kind of like their current energy, okay? Like, the sea in this card, you know, it's kind of like it looks stormy and it's just kind of like tumultuous. Um, the waves, you know, the way that they are, they don't look smooth. So I feel like it's just calling out to me right now that, you know, your person, they're juggling a lot of responsibilities. They, I feel like they are actually, you know, shutting the door with the world card underneath this on an old chapter in their life and they are stepping into a new one right now. And I do feel like you guys know this person already. Okay, so for some of you, you might not, but it definitely has a new feeling either way. Okay, and I feel like once they fly over this obstacle, that is when they are going to like really take notice to you okay i just i get this feeling of like ha ah, you know like a sigh of relief once they fly over the obstacle and then like they're with the ace here i just i feel like they'll have a more grounded presence okay and actually be able to focus on like what's in front of them with a clear mind and i feel like you know with the ace here this is when they are going to actually like offer you a real start, a real beginning is what I'm seeing with this. And you know, with the nine of cups, this could be somebody you guys are already crushing on because I feel like this is like, this would be a wish fulfillment on your part, okay? So I do feel like this is somebody who has already caught your eye, okay? But they are currently coming across kind of like they're unavailable, even if they're interested. And you know, it's just kind of like the whole thing is kind of being put on hold right now is the feeling I'm getting which is conflicting, I feel, for you, because on one hand, I do feel like you both feel this, you know, this magnetic attraction and connection and just this pull towards each other, but at the same time, I'm also getting that, you know, it's like neither one of you can take real, legitimate action currently, which is leaving you wondering about this, okay? which I feel like you're both kind of like diving into your work right now. I do feel like finances are also on both of your minds, okay? And, you know, it's just kind of like the thing that's in front of you that you know, you know what you can do something about. But as far as like they go, yeah, I feel like this just kind of is interesting. I actually feel like work kind of helps ground you both, okay? Like them because of everything they have going on and you because of you not knowing what's going on, okay? Between you guys. So that's interesting to see. But, you know, we do have the Two of Cups as an outcome, as well as the Nine of Cups, which, I mean, this is the person that you're going to end up with in a relationship next, okay? And I feel like, you know, once you hear this video, it'll be sometime possibly after, because it is timeless, so it doesn't matter when necessarily, but I do feel like once you guys hear this video, like things are gonna start like unfolding quicker, okay? Whereas before you both were probably in more of a hangman, like a not, like kind of feeling suspended in this limbo land as I call it, not really sure which way to go. So you kind of don't take any direction, but you know, I do feel like things are gonna start kicking off and it's, you know, once this new, once they fly over what they got to do and you both are entering like a new chapter of life, I'm feeling. So that's when things are really going to start to kick off. Okay, so taking a look further. 
Okay, so with this card, this tells me that I feel like, you know, the bit of interaction that you and this person have in communication, it definitely has this carefree, lighthearted, fun, playful vibe to it. And I feel like this person definitely sees you like that, like a beacon of light, okay, in their otherwise, like, dimly lit world right now, you know, like, with everything going on. With this, this is saying that Regardless of how this person is currently acting, I feel like they're definitely a tough person and I don't feel like they like to show, you know, their emotions a lot. Um, and they may not be that vocal about how tough things are right now is what I'm seeing, but I do see with this card, like it is hitting them and they do need time, I feel like, to deal and process with all this, okay? So if you're getting mixed messages, I don't feel like... I wouldn't read too much into it, okay? I would just let things take its course and be there for this person, you know? And, okay, needs coffee. Yeah, you know, what came to me when I saw this card was I feel like your person is currently kind of, like, it's like that saying, like, burning the candle at both ends right now. Like, they have so much going on that it's kind of like... I just... I feel like, you know... They're, they're just they're juggling a lot, you know, and I don't feel like they have much time for anything else currently. There's also, like, the feeling I'm getting with my needs coffee card. A lot of it could be work. I do feel like this person might even spend long hours at work, but I feel like it's more than that going on. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so we do have the woman card, Le Normand, although initially it was reversed. And what that tells me is like, yes, I do feel like, you know, this person, they do want a relationship with you. Like, that's like a commitment card. But because it was reversed, it's definitely not going to happen as, like, quickly as I feel like you guys feel like it should, you know? Because you guys are definitely in a clear space, I feel, right now, where, like, you know what you want. You're not letting things hold you back right now. So I, I feel like you don't quite get why they are. But I do see, though, that, you know, with this card, they definitely have a reason for it. And it's just to kind of trust the unfolding of this. Okay, but here, here's where things get a little interesting. So we have this card, which is like kind of a gamble. So on one hand, this person might kind of feel like for some reason, like taking this leap of faith and going forward with this, even no matter how much they want it, it kind of sees, they see it as being kind of risky. And I find that interesting. And the card that came after that was a gossip card. So it's possible that you and this person know a lot of mutual people, okay? And for some reason... I'm getting that they, a part of them hasn't gone completely forward with this idea because of who they know. And it's not that these people are against you, but I'm almost now getting the impression that like, if this person is ending something with somebody else, I feel like, and then they start something with you, I feel like their ex has a lot of the same friends as this person or a lot of people know okay like something like that is coming through which is kind of keeping them holding back do i think that's gonna really determine anything absolutely not but it is coming through okay that's gonna go for some of you i don't feel like that's gonna be for all of you so it's gonna be like if you and your person know a lot of the same people or if you know they are with somebody currently and they both have a lot of the same friends something like that Okay, we have a cell phone card, which, okay, this card could literally go one of two ways or both. Okay, so usually when I see this, I feel like this person's really good at keeping in touch and communicating. But in your guys' case, I do feel like it's currently like the opposite. Okay, so like you might hear from this person here or there or one minute you do and the next minute you don't. Okay, very back and forth energy going on. I think all in all, though, this person, they are really good at communicating, though, because to get Mercury a communicator, so this person might even speak for a living, okay? I'm just getting, like, they're really good with the words, they're really good at speaking, and 
they naturally draw attention in that way and uh, just so I do feel like you know once like I said they fly over this obstacle I see them really communicating with you I also feel like you guys have the potential to have deep conversations okay For some of you, I feel like you guys have actually gotten into it with this person. Okay, and it could be about, you know, wondering, hey, are we on the same page or not, you know, and then being there one minute, not the next. Maybe you guys made plans. Okay, this is only going to go for those of you, obviously, who have gotten into it with this person. So I'm just getting a sense of, like, those of you who have made plans with this person and they, like, didn't follow through or they said they'd hit you up and they didn't. Okay, going back to that cell phone thing. I feel like you actually told this person off before. Again though, you know, with my drink card, as well as the skate card, I'm just getting like this really fresh, fun, lively vibe between you two. Okay, you both bring out this youthful side, this playfulness, this carefreeness. And I do feel like, you know, they crave that. Especially with everything going on. But at the same time, they're still kind of holding back. And yet, we do have be patient. So, you know, this connection does require you to be patient. Okay, so let's take a look at... Oh, I also have first house, which I don't feel like this person is typically a selfish person, but they are definitely putting themselves first as far as like, I'm doing me right now. I got to take care of my own stuff going on right now. And then I feel like their attention will be on you is what's coming through with that. Okay, so let's take a look at what signs came through for your person. But as always, don't dwell on the signs because I wouldn't want you guys to miss out on something amazing because a sign for a general reading didn't come through. Okay, so as far as my cards go, we have Cancer, which is interesting because, you know, the crab also came out. We have Pisces, so definitely getting, you know, a lot of water vibes right off the bat. Pisces came out twice, so heavy on the Pisces. What's interesting, too, is I feel like those of you who chose this are also coming across like a Pisces or a Cancer, okay? So, yeah, I see you. <laughs> okay, so on top of that, we have Taurus, Leo, Virgo. And Gemini. But again, if you know who this is and none of those signs, their sign didn't come out, it still is a message for you, okay? Okay, group number two, this is what I see for you guys. If this resonates, let me know in the comments. And if it does, don't forget to give it a like. Thank you. Bye, guys. Hey, group number three. Okay, so who will you be in a relationship with next? Okay, group number three, right away, we start off with the page of pentacles. So that tells me that, you know, I always get like something about style with a person when I see this card, like I feel like their style is going to stand out to you, you know, and you're just gonna find this person to be like attractive, just, you know, doing, they're just so their own person I'm getting I feel like you're gonna get like such a kick out of them is like what I'm seeing okay but yeah I also feel like with the page of pentacles that this person there's just something about this person I feel like they're just gonna bust out into like a dance you know what I mean like it's just kind of got that vibe to me so I feel like your person is like that like I feel like they do like to dance okay whether guy or girl, I feel like they're a very coordinated person. In fact, with this, I'm kind of getting like athlete vibes, okay? Which is interesting. I typically get that for like whoever chooses my group three. So, you know, if you like are an athlete or kind of like built or shaped like one, I feel like this is definitely your mirror, okay? For some of you, your person will be like muscular. For others of you, it's definitely like athlete. As if you're wondering about a woman, I feel like, you know, she's going to be like graceful, you know, and kind of just like kind of have the body of a dancer is what I'm getting. Okay. For some of you, your person is still in school. Okay. And that could be like college, uh, doing some kind of 
training courses, a trade, just I'm seeing like spending time in school. And for others of you, I feel like they're actually in the military, okay? So when I see the travel card with the nine of fire, I'm just getting like doing something where you are pushing yourself to the limit as well as like seeing the world. So yeah, okay, so that's it's gonna be different for all of you. That's so, I feel like, you know, you guys I feel like are the more spiritual one but I feel like this person is going to be open-minded enough to where, you know, they might like start to dive into what you dive into spiritually is what I'm seeing with that. Okay, so initially I'm getting that this person is going to come across as being more guarded, okay, like in a protective mode. So uh, as far as like something popping off right away, I'm not getting that this is going to happen really quickly after you meet this person. So that's the other thing. Some of you know this person already and some of you have yet to meet them. This is a very new energy feeling. Uh, I just, I see this person's very focused on themselves and where they're going in life. Okay. And as well as with the two of pentacles, the only main thing that comes to me about that is this person now is all about balance. Okay. Okay. So in that way, you know, the hermit does kind of remind me of them. I feel like on one hand, it's kind of like they're at this place. Like by the time you guys meet them, this person is going to, like they definitely have a warrior spirit, but they're going to be at a place in their life where they are choosing peace over like conflict and drama is what I'm seeing. Which I feel like you guys are the same way. So I feel like you'll find that refreshing. But yeah, like the dance card came out as well as what I got from this card. So that's interesting. For some of you, you could be actually like, this could be a dancer, like professionally. And for others of you, I feel like they just like to move, like for fun, or go out dancing, like they'll take you dancing, okay? So that's cool to see. Okay, what else do we have? Okay, <laughs> with my LOL queen, I feel like this person has an amazing sense of humor. So, you know, once they start to let these walls down, I feel like this person and you are going to have such a great time together. I see a lot of laughter, a lot of smiling, and just like a lot of fun. You guys are going to bring back the, you guys are, I can't even speak. I feel like you guys are going to be tongue tied with this person. But anyway, I feel like you guys are going to bring back the fun and joy in life, like with each other, like your relationship is going to bring that back is what I'm getting. Like, yes, I feel like everybody should be their own sense of happiness, you know. But on the other hand, I do see, though, that spending time with certain people really does enhance, like, the joy in your life, you know. This person is a bit of a rebel, I'm seeing. Okay, so they definitely like to do things their way. They don't like to be told what to do. And yeah, I just interesting. I'm getting like Aquarius vibes with that. Aquarius and Sagittarius and Taurus is coming through. Okay, so with this, I feel like you two are going to have a connection with music and each other. Okay, so you guys are going to have your songs, which is cute, as well as like, I feel like, you know, that like telepathic connection where it doesn't matter if you guys have spoken or, you know, if you've seen each other, like time, space, distance, none of that matters with this connection because I feel like you guys, you kind of will know like what each other's going through, what each other are feeling, you know. And if you're going to hear from them, is what I'm getting. Okay. So with this card, I actually feel like you guys might end up meeting this person at an outdoor event, okay? Or while out in nature, or at a party, okay? So, could even be through mutual friends. But that could also be that outdoor event. I'm just, I'm really getting outdoors as far as you and this person goes. And if you don't end up meeting this person through any of those means, then I feel like, you know, nature is going to be significant for both of you. Like you guys are really going to enjoy spending time out in nature, like walking or, you know, sports, hikes, just some kind of outdoor activity I'm getting will make you both feel alive. 
So initially I feel like this, you both are going to start off as friends, which is good because I feel like that is what's going to make this person's walls come down, okay? And like you guys are actually gonna like spend time getting to know each other, which I think is sweet. <laughs> Then we have, okay, so a lot of commitment cards. Okay, so this this tells me that this person would be in it for the real thing, okay? Like they're not just playing games or playing around or passing time. Like this person's really trying to build up their life, themselves and their life. They're really future focused right now. So it's like, you know, if they choose you, they don't want to lose you no but what i mean is like if they choose you they're going all in you know yeah because they will recognize this connection for what it is and i see it being unique and just like a gem and then okay so it definitely has the potential to be a soulmate like connection okay and we did get the ring so you know for some of you this will be the person that you marry but i don't want to get your hopes up in case you are those that this is not that case but either way this ring does represent a commitment okay for however long yeah and i like i just see this person being like your next real relationship and I just get this like feeling of loyalty okay okay so let's take a look at what signs came through but as I always say don't dwell on the signs because you know oh okay hold up something else just came to me so this person too like is coming across as being very independent which is interesting because i feel like you guys are very independent as well so i actually feel like you know instead of that being intimidating to either one of you i feel like you guys especially with an, a clear mind are going to see no this is a good thing like we both are going to have a life outside of each other and then like we will come together you know so it definitely has more of a freedom feel which i feel like you both crave okay and that's kind of like why i feel you both don't easily commit to others because you wanna you want to remain i feel independent as well as feel free and not be told what to do like you both have that rebel like nature and independence okay so you both are gonna appreciate it actually and i see this doing amazing because of it okay so now taking a look at the signs so i had pisces come out And I have Gemini, Capricorn, Taurus, Sagittarius, Venus. Oh, that's not a sign, but that's interesting. So yeah, I feel like, you know, this just represents that this relationship is going to be like, it's really gonna like have the love, okay? It's like being ruled by Venus that's awesome to see like I really do feel like you and this person are going to be on the same page and it's going to be mutual so I do feel like like I said like it's going to start off as friends but like all of a sudden like something is going to shift okay and they're going to be like oh no like this is my next yeah that's what I'm seeing with that okay and then Scorpio and Libra but again it could literally be any sign okay so don't get hung up on that okay group number three this is who i see for you guys if this resonates let me know in the comments and if it does don't forget to give it a like all right bye guys